Hi, my name is Bo John McClung. I am a graduate from UW with a BA in anthropology. I am also a custodian at the University of Washington um, at the Burke Museum, and I am part of uh, Wilsey we'll Local 1488. And uh, I'm a union shop steward, and I'm beginning um, my master's program at UW in infrastructure planning and management. Hopefully, we'll be graduating in 2022. I uh, did not begin my academic journey until I was uh, 29. Up until then, I um, was in a number of different um, underground uh, bands from different kinds of genres, and I also helped organize um, book fairs. So for a good uh, 15 years of my life, um, I was essentially having organizing conversations uh, regularly uh, with people and building uh, uh, a scene regularly with people without even realizing that I was um, actually uh, starting the building blocks of, of what it meant to be an, uh, an organizer. When I uh, first began my academic journey, my initial interest was environmental studies, ecology, anything to really do with um, the environment. And it was, I believe, in 2013, I went on a uh, ethnoecology field school, um, which in the top left panel, there's myself, or in the top left picture, I'm sorry, there's myself and some other students who were working on a ethnoecology project in um, Colorado with uh, Asekia farmers. And... It was on that project that I kind of transitioned from just studying um, environmental sciences to moving more towards studying social sciences and really uh, focusing on the human component when it, when it comes to any type of endeavor, research, what have you. And as I uh, continue to evolve and improve and become... Um, stronger in my scholastic skills, I got more and more towards anthropology and away from environmental studies until by the time I graduated, I finished my degree um, in anthropology with a strong emphasis in ethnology and archaeology. So um, I also turned my focus towards researching uh, cultural practices and material culture of the Philippines. And I uh, was fortunate to win a couple of different scholarships to spend some time in the Philippines, both in Cebu, uh, studying um, Filipino martial arts um, and and um, leadership structures in urban settings. I also got to uh, study in Ifigao, Philippines, and live with the Ifigao tribe who are in the mountain regions of the Cordelias, who uh, live in the some sections of the rice terraces and still have a, uh, 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 a culture that's a continuum of, of pre-contact Filipino culture. And so, um, yeah, those experiences were a huge impact on me and helped, uh, shape, um, some of my, uh, uh, social skill sets in terms of, uh, being able to, um, communicate the work, among a broad range of different sorts of folks with different um, needs and and um, different levels of, of stakeholding. My initial interest uh, very early in my undergrad when I decided to take on independent research was um, initially just to study uh, Filipino martial arts, uh, which eventually turned uh, into learning a whole range of skill sets in um, all manner of different types of anthropological questions, um, such as studying the material culture, uh, which led me to um, having a background in museum studies, metallurgy, uh, metallurgic archaeology, and stuff like that. Um, and uh, what we have in this panel uh, is a dagger on the left from around uh, 17th century Philippines um, and a pot on the right from 
right around the same time, but in northern Philippines, which I actually uh, I excavated all of those pieces of that pot and painstakingly uh, glued all those pieces together without any sort of map or uh, image of how it was supposed to look, based solely on uh, intuition and just expertise in the field, uh, working around the material culture day in, day out. Um, and I believe like this was a, a beginnings of planting the seed for me with understanding infrastructure because to have a, a, a culture that can produce, have all the materials that it needs to reproduce itself and reproduce its means of existence means having a, uh, a network supply chain and, and infrastructure, so to speak, of materials and goods flowing to and fro to to sustain a people to to be able to not just create uh, tools for utility, but, um, you know, works of art, um, you know, in an aesthetic sense with with their utility. So I uh, graduated from uh, UW in anthropology in 2015. And I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do next with my career. Um, I knew I wanted to go to grad school. I did not know what yet. Um, so um, me being the working class uh, person that I am and I've always been, um, you know, decided to apply to position in building services sort of as both a placeholder uh, just to have a, a job and, and stream of income, but also to have a placeholder in the in the in the university system. Uh, building services employees have the benefits of uh, library access, and and uh, after just graduating and not knowing what I wanted to do next, I knew I still wanted access to like the library resources and so forth. So I figured at the time um, a day job cleaning toilets uh, uh, fit just with my personality as long as it saved the evening for mental work with uh, library access and inadvertently I uh, fell feet first into the labor movement um, through just observations at the workplace that um, you know weren't weren't right that needed to be set right and so I kind of took uh, like a duck to water once I got involved I got really involved and I ended up finding that a lot of my skill sets in anthropology um, have a place, uh, an overlapping use um, in union organizing and labor organizing, um, being able to, you know, have one-on-one -on -one conversations, organizing conversations, being able to um, articulate the the not just uh, the 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 larger political, social, political context of of contract bargaining and whatnot like to the worker but to be able to articulate the context of of work workplace issues uh between workers back to uh lawmakers and so forth um you know since i've been on since i've been involved i've been able to rise really quickly th to different positions of leadership i'm on my uh, local e-board. I'm on my state e-board. I sit on a number of committees, and I'm on I'm a delegate to uh, both the uh, Martin Luther uh, King Labor Council and the Washington State Labor Council. So I hope to continue growing um, in both uh, 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 union understanding, labor labor knowledge, labor history knowledge, but also application, um, taking um, what I can learn and putting it to use for labor. Um, otherwise, it's just nice information, but it doesn't, if it's not uh, in the hands of labor and living with labor, then it's not really serving a purpose. So what exactly is the program I'm in now? Uh, I spent a good bit explaining uh, my backstory, um, my, um, my experiences and, um, my scholarly abilities, but now I'm going to switch gears to talk about um, the training I'm going through now um, and what I plan to do with it later. So the program I'm in is called um, Masters of Infrastructure Planning and Management, and it's uh, a large umbrella term that kind of covers a lot because infrastructure can mean a lot. Infrastructure, if, uh, if we're talking about it um, 
at a state scale, we're talking about road and rail, uh, the green and gray. We're talking about uh, sh uh, shipping, transportation, fuel, energy of uh, the food system, um, um, uh, uh, the education, education, education system, the logistics to run an education system. Um, uh, um, you know, natural emergencies, um, um, our whole medical infrastructure system, it's, it's, it's production, it's logistics, it's, 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 it's as big as, as you could, as, as you could imagine. And, and so as, um, my interest to understanding and studying infrastructure has a lot to do with the fact that I'm a member of, um, the American Federation of uh, State, County, and Municipal Employees, and so we are the physical labor for the most part that um, has a huge hand in operating and facilitating uh, all the means of infrastructure for the state of Washington. Uh, my union has 4,400 members in the state of Washington, and we are everywhere, and we do everything that um, helps keep the state running. Um, and so um, often when it comes to planning and, and things of that nature, it, it's um, often it's we the the the, the expertise that, that that plans these top down arrangements of of infrastructure have never done frontline bottom up work. And um, I'm a frontline worker. Um, I draw my data from frontline workers. Um I plan to take on this degree. I plan to take on the skill set, and I plan to apply it to um, apply it to labor and whatever means I can. If that means um, at the civic scale, the policy scale, or just um, internally for the infrastructure of of our labor organizations, there's plenty of tools in this training that um, would could absolutely you know absolutely benefit labor as a whole. So in a roundabout way, this um, infrastructure degree is kind of a return for me to my um, initial interests in environmental studies, environmental science. Um, I applied to this program and was accepted into this program several months before the coronavirus uh, pandemic. And if the last seven, eight months have taught me anything, it's just reinforced them and reinforced my belief that I chose the right degree. Uh, because my initial reasons were uh, to not just understand infrastructure for infrastructure's sake, but to bring a conversation or build a bridge of discourse between labor and emergency planning. Because emergency planning is going to be, unfortunately, a recession-proof job for the next who knows how many decades. Um, uh, um, with climate change... Um, and how that's going to affect our infrastructure is, is really beyond the, beyond the scope of, of even like description in a PowerPoint. But, you know, uh, one of the things I guess, uh, for me is to, you know, uh, zero in on really big questions by looking at what we can do on the ground. And, you know, some of the things we can do right here in Washington to just, um, start digging in and doing the work locally is just understanding our uh, infrastructure systems as something that's contingent on our natural systems. Um, understanding, um, you know, our watershed capacity, our food network capacity, all that stuff, um, you know, um, as, 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 as prerequisite or as contingent systems uh, to have, uh, um, in their most robust form before we can have any sort of infrastructure, uh, man-made infrastructure, um, dovetailing off of that. Um, and so, um, if COVID taught us anything, uh, is that we're, uh, not prepared. Um, um, because, uh, yeah, COVID was, 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 uh, only, uh, a pandemic and, and something much worse can happen. Um, and um, I think what we need to do um, in terms of like looking at resiliency, uh, resiliency of systems is um, getting away from rigid, uh, uh, rigid structures of, of services that um, only function in one form that, 
that uh, reveal its weak weaknesses when something comes along uh, that its inflexibility cannot handle. So um, wanting to build more flexible systems of resiliency means honestly more jobs, means more labor jobs. And those could all be, uh, you know, those could all be and will be union jobs. Um, lastly, I want to give my thank yous to um, the Harry Bridges Labor Center, uh, particularly uh, Andrew and Yasmin um, for uh, being uh, really awesome and supportive. Um, ILWU and um, the members there, Local 19, uh, uh, the Frank Jenk uh, Jenkins Jr. Award and the Gerald uh, McKinsey Award from Ask Me. Um, you know, um, I have to be honest. I, I, uh, I've, I've won some scholarships in the past, um, but never have I ever felt more obligated to uh, my uh, scholarships than I do from these two particular scholarships. Only because um, these are dues, these are dues money from working class folks uh, who were paying for me to get this education, um, and that matters to me. It matters to me in terms of the work I put in. Uh, it matters to me in terms of not just uh, the grades, but it matters to me in terms of what I do with this degree, what I do with this degree for the rest of my life, the con contributions that I'm going to be making back to labor, um, you know, uh, because of this degree. And, uh, yeah, I just cannot say thank you enough to, to um, all of the uh, institutions and organizations that have been a part of um, – helped me along this path and uh, I uh, look forward to giving back. Thank you.